Hi guys and girls, Stephen Palmer here, Michael Campbell Golf Academy. Quick video on synchronizing your swing, specifically synchronizing the backswing. Um, I want you to understand this as a, a fairly simple concept as I'm going to describe it. Um, and I'm going to keep this as simple as I can because there are a lot of uh, different theories uh, from various players on, uh, on when things should happen as you take the club away. We have people who say, right, let's set the club early with the wrist here. Um, keep the lower body still as you turn back, uh, turn everything back together. Um, there's a lot of different theories um, and I'm not going to say that, uh, that there is any one right way because there's a lot of successful players that have done it a lot of different ways. But if you have some confusion uh, in this area, uh, I want to clear it up like this. So um, I want you to simply uh, think of this concept as, right, for the backswing to be in sync, we pretty much want all the components, you know, the club, the hands, the shoulders, the hips, to arrive at the top of the backswing at the same time in this position. So let's simplify and say, right, let's say that the shoulders should turn 90 degrees in the backswing while the hips turn 45 degrees. If they should, uh, if they should arrive at the same time, that to me suggests that the hips should turn at half the speed as the shoulders. If they should all start at the same time, the club, hips, hands should all start going back at the same time, but they do go back at slightly different speeds. Um, the feeling for most players um, is simply to get everything to go back uh, at the same speed, and, and you'll find that relatively speaking, they will move uh, quite well. Um, now, if you have uh, different issues with your swing plane and everything, now this is uh, you know, getting into a bit more detail than uh, I really want to get into on this video, I want to try and keep this very simple. Um, if you have severe swing plane issues and, uh, and, and confusion like that, then I suggest you just go have a golf lesson because this is that's too much individualized information for this video. But um, I want you to think that uh, you know, we, don't want to, we don't want to not hinge the wrist, we, we don't want to set really early, we don't want to keep the lower body completely still. Uh, let's let everything move gradually together and, um, and have that as your concept. So everything arrives at the same time at the top of the backswing. Everything starts at the same time. We, they just, the different parts of the body just move at different speeds. So this is gonna be something that takes a little bit of practice. If you understand the concept, you 